9 Survival Tips for Empaths and Sensitive Souls The biggest problems of empaths are when they have to stay in crowds for too long, and when they are around people who are energy vampires. This can be very challenging, almost overwhelming for them. When they are stressed, they become emotional hubs for so many negative energies. During this time, their emotion absorbing qualities heightens and this makes it possible for them to absorb so many emotions. When they are around a peaceful environment, their bodies take up this peace and they glow. If an empath wants to enjoy the company of friends and family very well, he or she has to learn to protect their special gift of high sensitivity and find a balance. Here are 9 basic approaches in which empaths and all sensitive souls can take to survive amid negative energies without being drained. But before we move further, if you enjoy watching this video, please help by clicking that like button guys. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. 1. Find out the source of the emotion. You can be in a cheerful state, and suddenly your mood changes immediately when you get close to someone. It means that you have taken up that person's negative mood, so the only thing to do is to be very sure that the new emotion you're feeling is actually from this person. To find out this, move away from that person, and if the mood disappears, then you know the emotion was emanating from the person. Emotions are contagious, and you're prone to take on an emotional or physical pain that you haven't solved in yourself. So, the more you tend to heal issues that trigger your emotions, the less likely you will be affected by the emotions from others. 2. Move away from the source of where the emotion is emanating. Stay at least 20 feet from the source of any negative vibe and see if you can feel relief. If you are in a gathering, try not to stay close to someone that will drain your energy because physical closeness increases empathy. If you're already sitting near such an energy sucker, don't waste time. Change seats. Don't be forced to stay where you're not comfortable. You don't need the permission of anyone to move. Rather, it is an act of self-care. 3. Create reasonable healthy limits and boundaries. When it comes to setting boundaries, there are no two ways about it. For you to be able to survive amongst people, you have to set up reasonable healthy limits and boundaries. If someone is draining your energy, stay away. Learn to limit the amount of time you spend with such a person. You have to control how much time you spend listening to energy vampires. Learn how to say no. Remember, no is a complete sentence. Never allow yourself to be coaxed into doing things that will drain you. 4. Always take deep breaths to clear negative energies. Whenever you encounter any negative energy, do yourself good by focusing more on your breathing for some minutes. Take in the air slowly and deeply until the negative energy surrounding you goes away. Breathing helps to remove negative vibes out of your body, to purify fear and pain. All you have to do is breathe out stress and breathing calm. Imagine unwanted emotions as bad air going out from your body and wellness as a clear light entering it. This can produce very quick results. 5. Make it a habit to always detox in water. Water is the best friend to empaths as this is the quickest way to reduce and dissolve stress and pains. Salt baths are believed to be divine and also provide magnesium which calms the body very easily. The perfect empathic getaway is immerging yourself in natural mineral springs that will help to purify all that troubles you. 6. Go offline sometimes. There are usually some groups or sites on the internet that can trigger your emotions. Take a break from them for some time. Violent news feeds and posts should be avoided at all costs because it may impair your ability to fall asleep. Empaths are very sensitive to energies in both the physical and virtual worlds, so make sure you spend quality time in Mother Nature, reflecting or taking part in other offline activities that can help to develop and reinstate you. 7. Make time to rejuvenate As an empath, it is already known that you need time alone for yourself, 
so that you can rest and unwind to be able to rejuvenate and reconnect with your power after stress. Having time to spend by yourself is a great way to clear negative energies taken up into your system. So, take some time out to a quiet place devoid of noise, bright lights, phone calls, texts, emails, internet, television, or conversations. 8. Not everyone deserves a hug from you. Hugs are very easy ways of transferring energies from one person to another, including other ways like eye contact and touch. Limit physical and eye contact with someone you're not comfortable with. Hugs are a choice and preferably avoid holding hands. Hugging someone you love in distress can be very beneficial to both of you, but if you don't want to absorb their emotions, then all you have to do is to make the hug a very brief one. However, this shouldn't stop you from sending them love from a distance. 9. Enjoy spending time with nature This is another great means of unwinding from the negativities of the day. Nature is peaceful and calm. This kind of environment helps to calm your system and wash off the negative vibes. It is a very good thing because empaths naturally love nature and feel at ease there. Try as much as possible to enjoy moments with nature. Walk barefoot on the grasses, feel the energy of the earth beneath your feet, you will surely feel the difference. All in all, those are the 9 survival tips for empaths and sensitive souls. So, what's your opinion about this? I hope you enjoyed watching this cool video, and if you have something on your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.